Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and it has been a long, long day for me. Um, I am attempting to get my context to work correctly. Um, somebody went and broke my um, script. They found out that if you turn and you walk slowly like this into the corner. Oh, no, 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 no. Slowly like this. Nope, nope, that still, still breaks. Okay, slowly like this. Nope, nope, that's still breaking. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Nope. <gasps> hmm, I don't know how they did it. <laughs> Basically, they were able to walk in at a steep angle. A very, well, a very, acute angle like this and it did not register them as a swimmer oh oh there it goes there it went so there's a little cheat for you if you wanted to try and get out there um just so you know there are other boxes so this only goes for so so long um once you reach another box it will double check um here let's just just run out here to one of these other boxes. You can't see them, but they're there. If we go look at, um, what are these? These are them? Yep. Is this a uh, transparent? Is this transparent? Let's put this down to 0.5. So there's the other boxes. Transparency 0.5. Transparency 0.5. And that's the one that I'm on right now. This one's 0.5. So, um, once I do cross the threshold, you, you can't travel the whole thing, I don't think. Hmm. But if I had some islands out here, I mean, I'd have to put them just past the boxes. That way, if you don't register, you couldn't go any further. But, I mean, this would give you a, a nice advantage. All right, so here we go. Crossing the border. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Now we're registered as a swimmer. Oh gosh. Now what happened? Okay, so we didn't register in the first one. What? Oh, okay. So the kill box registered, but um, because the ray is going straight up and... Oh, I'm going to have to ignore the kill box, aren't I? Oh gosh, okay. Um, so where are the floaty things? I've got them as no collect, can I have them as massless? Ooh. Okay, let's try that. Let's try doing a, a massless. No, no, not tonight. Tonight I'm working on the grab function. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you this as well. I kind of did uh, Oops, I did a, a land store thingy, right? And this is this is kind of how I wanted it to look, but I've got everything into its own little uh, things. So like, it's not a model, but I, I could take all these, control group them, that way it becomes one wood store model. Oops, wood, wood store, wood store, wood. That way if I wanted to, I could just grab that one model and the whole model moves. But I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Keep it as this for right now. And I could uh, select all children like that and move them as well. But this will um, this allow me to group little things together like the front wall group, the second front wall group, glass windows, stuff like that. Um, that way, if I wanted to later on to like change the texture of all the walls, I could go through and select just the walls and change their textures, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, it helps. Oh, by the way, um, I actually have the full versions of the Lumber Tycoon 2 songs. Uh, I've got four of them playing in the background. I hope that's okay. I didn't want to fire up two versions, one Lumber Tycoon 2, this one. Anyhow, um, okay, what I was working on just before I started recording was this right here. Uh, so I wanted to do a grab and a C grab. C grab stands for controller. It's gonna take the gamepad one input. I've not been playing with that yet. I'm just playing with the mouse button one. So 
what I've got is when I click, I can see like it starts movement, stops movement, and I gotta go stop the swimmer from talking. Where's the swimmer? Come here. Uh, not the server scripts. This one here, water damage. We don't want to print this anymore, so. Um, where's the print? There it is, swimmer count. We'll just uh, take that out for the debug. And we'll take that out as well. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we can click and it starts the mouse movement, ends the mouse movement. So I was thinking um, if I know that the context is a mouse click, then I could actually get the user's mouse, I think. So if uh, this, is, this is mouse movement right here, and for object, uh, this is going to be the mouse click. So um, if we start the click, I want to get the mouse of the current user. So uh, let's do this. This is very confusing because it's all packed in here. Uh, let's take that out. We don't need to know that we, it was a mouse click. Actually, here, I want to comment that out, comment that out, comment that out. Okay, so um, pull this down here. That's for the controller. This right here, this is what I want. Um, so I'm just going to say mouse. Oh, no, I want local. Local mouse equals um, game.players.localplayer.mouse. Or is it get mouse? Colon, get mouse. Something like that. Oh gosh. <sighs> Print mouse. See if we actually get something back from that. That was short lived. Do I get a mouse? Do I get an instance of a mouse. Nice. Uh, let's see if I get a mouse.x. Ooh, I do, I do get a mouse.x. That is awesome. And it's relative to where it's at on the screen. So, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so. Um, X equals, okay. Uh, do I do, do local, local X equals mouse.x local y equals mouse dot y um ooh, can i do a target local target equals mouse dot target i don't know if that's right print target let's see here spawn location oh Oh, I got it. I got Oh, yes. It's the back right wheel. Yes. Glorious. That is what I needed. Okay. So, <clears throat> we are doing, like, I'm using the context, and I'm actually getting the target of what we're, we're doing. Um, so... Oh, 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 not water damage. We can get that out of here. Um, for a master, like a, a global, I'm going to do local um, is, no, grab, um, grab object equals link. So, and local is grab. No, grabbing true, grab true. Um, grab start equals false. So let's do this. Uh, print <clears throat> grab uh, grab target. No, grab object equals mouse. Oh, come on, mouse dot target and grab start equals true. 
So, um, and then if we get the, the second one, and instead of just saying zero and one, I'm gonna say enum dot user input state dot uh, begin. And this is going to be enum dot user input state uh, ooh, input state dot end. All right. And this we are going to do uh, grab whoops, grab object equals nil. That way it becomes nothing again. Grab start equals false. And ooh, ooh, excuse me, excuse me. I had my um, what was it? The um, oh gosh, did this end? Why did it end? It, oh, it wasn't looped. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> I drink my um, my Bob Ross energy drink. It's positive energy. It was it was wonderful. If you haven't seen the tweet, it is an awesome can with Bob Ross Bob Ross's face. Tasted a lot like um, like a Red Bull kind of, but it was more like. Um, like one of the icicles, the the um, otter pops that was melted. That's what it tasted like. It was pretty good. <laughs> Always like melted otter pops. They're they're awesome. Um, okay, so if action name equals move, and if object equals enum user input type mouse move, then <coughs> um. If grab start and grab start object, then um, hmm, I guess I'm gonna have to cast a ray to it, aren't I? Hey, here, let's just do print moving dot dot uh, space dot dot and then grab object. So, let's just try this real quick. So, okay, I'm, I'm bebopping along, and then there's a test box, and I click it. Oh, it's not clicking at all. Oh no! What happened? Okay, I, I changed a lot of things at one time, so... Hmm... Let's undo, undo right here. What did I do wrong? Okay, grab object equals no. And we don't want these as local. We want them as global, globally changeable. By the way, I should probably be doing this in a module. Nope, 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 nope. Stop. last oh maybe it was those let's try that is that it no nope, that's not it stop hmm like I said this could be a great big failure I'm not sure oh wait 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 oh you silly silly goose I already see it. Okay, let's put this all back. Put this all back. See this little T right here? It's a capital T. Target. <clears throat> Alright, try that. No, that wasn't it. Okay, mouse equals. Good. Target equals. object. 
grab object matches. Yep, grab start equals. Good. Take these two out, and let's take this stuff out. Take this out. And we're just going to say print, print mouse dot target, because that's what we did last time. Take this out. Take all of this stuff out. You can get out of here. There we go. Play. This was a two, and this was a zero, if action equals grab. So we are going to grab bind false to mouse button one, which comes up here, says if the action name equals grab, which is what we set it to, um, then we come down here, user input state value equals zero. So this is triggered during the grab, and the input object is the mouse. And if the user input state is zero, which starts the grab, that should work. Why is this not working? Now it worked. What happened? What was different in the last one? What did I change? value oh oh goodness okay stop this you get back you get back out of there okay try that instead of using the value ah, silly goose silly 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 okay so instead of actually using the value I just want the user input state enum, en, en, enum dot user input state dot end like that. Not the value of end, but the, the same same object. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. My goodness, why was that so hard? Seriously. All right. Local grab object equals nil. Local uh, grab start equals false. So if if mouse.target, then grab object equals mouse dot oops mouse dot target and grab start equals true. So now we can come down here and if we're actually moving around. Oh, for right here, we want, uh, if we end grab object equals nil, grab start equals false. The other thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to check for object ownership to see if that object is actually owned by anybody, to see if it's actually grabbable. Because if, if you're reaching and grabbing for something and it's not a grabbable object, there's no point in you actually picking it up and moving it around, right? So, <clears throat> let's go back over here. Uh, this is the C grab. So that should start the grab. This will end the grab. Um, if action dot move, if grab start and grab object, then print moving dot dot grab object there we go try this okay so 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Context graph object A user data. What? Oh. We're getting the target dot main. Test box. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So we're going to need to create a movable test box. Um, so let's do this. Let's just uh, this this test box has got nothing in it, right? Okay. Cool. Let's give this a um, <coughs> insert object S uh, string 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 come on string value and we're gonna call this value uh, can grab and we're going to give another object um, not a vector three the string value. And this one's going to be context, I think. All right. So if, okay, so come back up here, mouse.target. If mouse.target dot uh, find first child can grab then and so only if it has the can grab context and we should probably add an ownership so insert object we'll we'll come back to that cuz that's one that one's going to be a little bit more complicated if can grab uh, print moving object all right um, grab object dot position equals um, user player players player game dot okay Let's get the mouse again. We're gonna have to get the, the mouse. So, context action is move. Now, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because if the grab state, we, we still want to capture the user input and we want to cast array from the mouse to the objects. That way we can get the context of can grab and context. And then we can throw up menus on the screen. Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer than I can think. And it's been, it's been a pretty long day, just so you know. So, um, grab object dot position equals okay let's get the mouse um doko mouse equals game dot layers dot local player dot colon get mouse so we would grab the mouse again and this only works for mouse input so i'm i'm gonna have to do the same for like user input of a controller which is going to be a little bit more difficult but doable um, print moving object equals mouse dot hmm. x and y oh wait a second <clears throat> we don't want to actually move the object we want to place an object onto that target. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Uh, I gotta go look at something real quick. Um, Roblox mouse dot hit. I think it's dot hit. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Local position mouse dot hit dot p. What is p? Hmm. Not replicated. Hit. Value is a C frame. The property indicates a C frame. Of the mouse in 3D space. Note. Target filter. Mouse dot target filter. And its descendants will be ignored. Got an example, please. Player run service. A beam instance. <laughs> origin. Head dot position. Mouse dot. Okay, define the origin in the position. The origin is the head dot position. Okay. Attachment zero dot position. Origin. Attachment one dot position. Move these attachments. What is this? <gasps> what is this? Okay. Mouse dot hit laser beam. This code is a sample which places a local script. Start a player scripts which draw a red laser beam between the character's head and mouse hit at all times. Let's try this. Oh my goodness. Why did I not see this earlier? Copy. Just for fun. Just for fun. Um, let's see here. Start a player scripts. Start a character scripts. This do 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 do. New local script. <clears throat> Call this laser beams. Hello. Do it. Oh, expected something here. What? Oh. <clears throat> All right. Um. Grab position. Okay, let's just take that out for a second. Uh, laser beam expected local expand. Oh, that's uh, not part of the script. <laughs> there we go. Okay, play. Go. Laser beams. Laser beams! Oh, we got laser beams. And we're moving the test box. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm gonna sneeze. Do it. Yeah, we're fine. Mm, look at that. We got a laser beam. The laser beam actually goes through things. What happens if I do? Oh wow! So it works in first person mode too. Look at the laser. Amazing laser. How far does this laser go out? I don't like the color. So let's stop. Um, let's go back to the laser beams. Color sequence is three, <clears throat> one, zero, zero. What's the transparency? Face camera, true. News beam, segment one, width, width, color, instance attachment. Is there a transparency? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Workspace dot terrain. It places in okay, local mouse connect. Looking, looking, looking. This is a great example, by the way. It's exactly what I needed. But the magnitude away from the player can only go so far. So it always has to be a specific length away. How do I make it only a certain length? Hmm. Have to figure that one out. Anyhow, cool laser beams. Uh, let's go back over to the examples. What else did they have? Mouse origin versus mouse hit versus current camera position. The code below visualizes the differences between mouse hit, mouse origin. In order to do this, the code uses vector three positions and hit origins of the C frame. Don't know what that means, but we're going to test it out. Okay, control A. No, that's way too much. Um, ooh, copy code. Thank you. Okay, so uh, let's just do a new insert object local script. I love playing with examples. Let's uh, let's disable this one for the moment. And this new local script is going to be visualize visualize the mouse. 
or whatever it was called. There we go. Wait, what? 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 Print, 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 print. Okay. There we go. It's not constantly updating, but that's okay. Mouse hit camera pose, mouse origin magnitude. Can we can we make that constantly go? Is there a, a trigger for it? <laughs> All right, get mouse camera pose dot p. So that's the actual position, right? And let's just do while wait one. No, point five. And then we can do this. And you. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, I promise. Before the end of the video is up, I will have a sneeze for you. There we go. It's a little bit better, right? Mouse hit versus the camera pose. Oh, look at the camera. <laughs> the camera's not changing at all. <laughs> Crazy. Magnitude. <laughs> Is this the magnitude away from us or? Oh, that's the, the zoom factor, so. Okay, so we got a couple of good examples uh, a couple of things that I should really try. I'm trying to sneeze. I, I just I can't get it out for you. So it's, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not gonna have a sneeze for you at this video. Um, if you've had a bad day, I hope this has gotten to distract you a little bit. I hope you've learned a little bit from it. I know I have, and I'm definitely gonna be using these laser beam techniques um, to get a visualization of like where to place the object. What we want to do is we want to place that ball onto the object itself. So wherever it hits at, we'll place uh, that little ball. And then that way, as we start moving around, we can actually hold the shift button, rotate it, and move the position, stuff like that, like the real game. That's the, the kind of grab that I want inside my game. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Oh my gosh, what a long day. Uh, it was a Wednesday, it was Wednesday. And, is a very long Wednesday. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. And I really like, if you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I'm just glad you were here. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we will talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.